I'm excited to share this next video with you. This past weekend, I got to hike with five of my favorite hikers. You might recognize my nephew Davin and my son Jesse from my first video, and Parker, who played a brief appearance in my first video, steps in front of the camera to teach me what he knows about the outdoors, which is far more than the average Jill. I hope you enjoy. Let's take a look. All right, so Parker, what are you showing us here? Uh, how to build a model of an Indian sleeping bag. Okay. But I'm gonna need the depth. Get your knife. You're gonna need my sense already. Just tell me how to do put it. Put it in the ground. There's somewhere like on the ground. Okay. It's on the and ground. then you see you put another one, a smaller one. Say here. Okay. And obviously this is to, not to scale. And then you throw a nice long one, one across here. And then you okay. lean all your small stakes up. Grab some leaves, you know, just anything like this. Throw it on, pack it in the insulation, and then uh, after that, crawl on in, and you can sleep. Where is the entry point? Uh, the big, the big stick. The little stick would be where your feet are. Okay. The big stick. I mean, there's a stick out again in the middle of it, so you kind of have to like. Now, in actuality, how tall would the big stick be? Six feet, maybe. No. What? How, <laughs> how many people are you fitting in it? <laughs> like, well, like, what if I want to stand up and do my hair? Oh yeah, no, Joe, not, you're not on here a hike. in the woods. You're you, on a hike, Joe. <laughs> you you would crawl, you crawl in like feet first, like this. Okay. And you'd be kind of tucked away, like this. So how tall you are depends on how long how you have long to make it. Exactly, and then it's only about this high, and your body heat keeps everything. And then awesome. you can kind of like tuck in like, a bunch of leaves around you, and get as much. Uh, have you ever had to do this? Yes, I built one. And that you've had to stay in? I, I, slept, I stayed in overnight, and it was honestly like sleeping in sleeping in a sleeping bag. Awesome. Find yourself just a little acorn cap. Make sure it's a full cap, big enough you can fit your thumbs on it. Cover it like so, like a little triangle on the tip. Blow down. Oh, I gotta try that. And you got yourself a nice whistle. Wanna try it? All right, take it away, average Joe. No, no. <laughs> let, let me show you. Let me see your placement of your lips. So I got. <laughs> I got my hands like this, kind yes, of. Yes. You know, we'll try. So just make a triangle. Now, put your hand too high. Put them like right, right in the knuckles. You getting it? It's not dirt. That's the color of it. The back side. It doesn't taste like much. It's got a little bitter, and it's gonna notice that your mouth getting really dry now. And you're, uh... Jill, tell your viewers what you're eating. Lichen. But I'm not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> One single yeah, full that's leaf. That's me, too. A mitten leaf. Did it? And a triple leaf. It's weird. I bet it's but there's more than three mittens, though. Is it well, missing it's not, a salad? it's not even. It's just... Okay. It's just, it has to be... And I see what you're saying. So this is the salad leaf, and then these are the mittens. Perfect. Whereas, Parker, the Nothing one behind you is missing the salad leaf. Okay. You can eat any of them. Can you eat the leaf on sassafras? Yeah, or you can make tea out of the leaf. What do you, eat? you can chew on the stem. You can eat the stem. To clean your teeth, you know, so you can look good when you bite these off. But, but here's, here's the thing I want to point out, too. That's Unless good. you really need it, we probably shouldn't be disrupting the forest, right? These little furry white and black spikes coming off, are like, they look like antennas. Like poisonous thorns. And you touch them, they spike you, and they hurt a human. They won't kill a human, but if you were to eat it and like digest it, then... would it feel like a cactus, like that kind of thickness, if I touched it? Like the twin. No, oh, I no, touch it. no, it's soft. And then the poison is what makes it? it feel sharp. I would oh, not touch okay. it. they hurt. That's why I know never, whenever I see insects or anything, is I, I observe them, but I don't touch them because I know they could be poisonous. I'm gonna practice it. That'd be good, that'd be straight good. I'm getting it. <laughs> Told you I've been practicing. My episode next week is the second half of that hike where we explore a cave. It was a lot of fun. That was another experience with the average Jill. I hope you found it amusing or inspiring or maybe even learned something from it. Thanks for watching.